Oh, oh, be careful, dude. We're getting the hang of that drop. I see you. Oh, oh, that's good. One dead. That's right on top of him. That was so good. I think they're both dead. No way. There we go. Jesus, how is he alive, dude? So you can, you can pen these tents. You can shoot through them. So I have no idea how that guy survived as long as he did. It's okay, we're in it, we're alive at least for now. We're gonna be low on ammo though. We'll grab these. Too close, too close for comfort, man. Jeez Louise. Well, the good news is, that's the team that probably would have gone to radio, so we should be the first ones there, unless someone spawned right over the hill. All right, it looks unlooted. All right, no purple card. Oh, this was looted, wait a minute. But they left a spoon behind? What the hell's wrong with them? Very interesting. All right, now we gotta be careful because we're limited on AP ammo now that we burned through that drum. So we gotta take smart shots, smart fights. Oh, yo, did you see him chat? Holy shit. Holy shit. I think I was juiced. Who was he shooting at that at though? Juiced up M1, Ragnar, level five armor. This guy's kitted up. Maybe the shots were at me and he just missed. Woo! It's always more, yep. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So one thing I've been trying to make note of and be conscious of in this game, just because the way armor works, I'm just trying to go for head taps every single time. And I'm sure it probably gets me killed, but I feel like it's so effective because if you do hit him, Oh, this guy was loaded. Here's what we need to be doing. It's actually putting all this in his gear tech. There's an orange card in there we can use to get out. Take his M1. We're gonna swap to his armor as well. Of course, it's full of drums. Why wouldn't it be? Well, uh, that was insane. We need to leave. Not a bad pick. Kabunk. Okay, we like. Good raid. Good heckin' raid. Good work, chat. Good work, chat. Yo, we could just run his kit, honestly. We like that. Looks and feels pretty. This thing is juicy as hell, bro. Ooh, ooh, okay. Be careful, dude. We're getting the hang of that drop. Imagine we get that guy. Oh, just a casual vector here, because why wouldn't he have a vector? Who's that?
When we last saw him, he was in that tree. Surely we killed him. If not, we're about to. That'll kill him. He's gotta be dead. There's no way. What? He has a tier 6 armor. What the ass are we doing? Dude, a little M1 action? This gun's so cool. I think he was solo. Is that a man? What is that? That's a rock. <laughs> what do we like? I'd say we're pretty good to reset. My eye itches so bad. Wait, oh my god, wait, that's not a rock. You're right, Firewind, that's my tier six armor that I put down. Good comms, I completely forgot. I was like, you know, cause I was like, I've never seen that rock. You know, you play a map enough times, like small changes will stand out to you. All right, good raid chat. Getting out with that tier six armor is huge. Oh, oh, virtual stock going crazy, going crazy. I want combat waffle to add more sights and scopes. They will. They will. I mean, dude, at this point, honestly, I would just like a holographic without the attachment, without this stupid thing. And I'm in. I'm happy. But I mean, they have that maintenance room in the, the hideout, so they absolutely plan on like way more modification options, more attachments, including optics for sure. And I believe they've even talked about like a full optic rework, which would be nice because so that way, like, see how this zoom is just like a blurry mess. That's because it's all just a digital zoom. Whereas if you look at the zoom in a game like uh, like Contractors as an actual um, like visual zoom, it's really, really cool. Hey, look, a GPU. Trash. I see you. Oh, I believe I can fly. I think about it every night and day. Oh, come on, man. Any tips for first timers in this game? Uh, my first piece of advice I always give people is don't get discouraged. Don't get discouraged because it's a difficult game. You're going to die so much. You're going to die so much. Um, try to treat every death like a lesson and, uh, and be willing to learn, you know? Do training raids, learn the maps, learn the guns. Pow, pow, pow. I don't love the idea of pushing into the front door of this building with an M1. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Okay, he's right above us, looting purple room. So there's a couple different ways this guy can go. If he knows about him. So there's a window jump down. Damn scab. He can actually jump from that room above me into these windows. If he knows, which a lot of people don't know about that. Okay, I think he ran out the front. I heard him in the trees, and now that scab is shooting at him, I think. Yeah, yeah. No, he's still above me. What the hell? This boy's gaming. Tier 6 armor, look like a Ronin helmet as well. That had to have been the guy we were hearing. How did he get below us? 
Luckily, we were suppressed. I think he was confused. He didn't know where I was shooting him from. Hold on. There's someone else here. Oh, that's good. That got one. What's your name? I need to have out where I am. That was another good nade. Yo, aggro to the other guy, man. I don't think we got both. Although I see two adventure bags, two armors. Holy shit. Might be repositioning. If I'm him, I'm going down to that door. Dude, I think we got him. I think the nades got him. Good work, chat. Sheesh. Right. That's good. Okay, they didn't have they didn't have too much in terms of gear. But we still have our big old juicy boy out here. Okay. Tier six armor. Ronin helmet. Now, I don't think I can put helmets in backpacks, right? No, okay. I'm thinking we consolidate loot into my bag. Suppressor, more grenades. I probably should have just switched to his bag. So now what we can do is we can carry out his Ronin helmet and his tier six armor. Guys, great freaking, great freaking rates. Holy crap, always killed some juicers. Sheesh. Good work, guys.